Welcome to PPT GenX. So in today's video, we are going to see how to create a similar pneumorphic slide. Okay, so let's begin. So here, I'm going to press the enter key so that we have a new slide. For this slide, I've basically used this dark gray color. Okay, let's go to the format background here. So in the solid fill, I have selected this grayish color. All right. Okay. Now in the next step, we are going to insert some shapes. So let's go to the shape option and let's go to this oval option. So by pressing the shift key, we are going to insert a circle like this and let's shift it a little bit upwards. Okay. Now in the next step, the shape outline is going to be the no more outline and the shape fill is going to be the exactly same color as of our background. All right. Now we'll give it some effect option. So let's go to the effects. Let's go to the shadow option and let's give this normal outer shadow. Okay. And here this time let's give the distance of 10 points. And let's give it this darker gray shade. Okay. And let's give it a little bit of blur effect. For 8 points only. Okay. Now I'm going to press the control D to make the exact copy. And let's place it exactly on top of the previous one. This time the shadow color is going to be this white. Okay. And let's change the angle to the other side like this. Okay. Perfect. And let's give it more blurry effect to around 15 points. All right. Now in the next step, I'm going to select both the circles. And now I'm going to group that. So basically, we have this one circle. Okay, now in the next step, I'm going to make the exact copy by pressing the Ctrl D key. And let's reduce the size by pressing the Shift key. Okay, and place it on top of the previous one. Again, press the Ctrl D by pressing the Shift key. Let's reduce the size of this one. Let's do that here. Now for this last one, we are going to change the color to this pink. Okay, and inside of it, we are going to write a text that is our services. So we'll write. All right. So let's select this text. Okay. Let's increase the size. Let's give it a little bit bolder and here. Yeah. Okay, now perfect. One thing, the color of this text is going to be exactly the same as of the slide background. Okay, now in the next step, we are going to insert this oval shape. Okay, let's insert this oval shape. And the size of the oval is going to be 4 cm by 4 cm. Okay. Similarly, shape outline is going to be no outline. Shape fill is going to be gradient fill. Okay. So, we are going to select the two gradient stuff. One will be exactly as the same of the background and one will be white in color. Okay. And let's bring it a little bit. Yeah. Okay, and in the effect option, let's give it inner shadow. This inner shadow. Alright, and let's select the darker finish. Okay. So. Perfect. Alright, so let's copy it and Place them like this. Let's make one more copy. Place it here. Alright, so basically we have created five circles. So for this five circles, now we are going to insert more circles. So for that, I'm going to use the similar circle outer one. 
and then I'm going to press the control D. Okay. And for this time, the size is going to be the two by two. Okay, and let's bring it inside of it. Similarly, make more copies. All right, perfect. Now in the next step, we are going to insert some icons. So let's go to the icon option. And here there are so many icons. So this time I'm going to select five icons randomly. Okay. So two, three, four, and five. And let's insert them. Okay, and for all of them, the color is going to be this pink color. Let's bring them over here. Now, one by one, we'll select them. We'll reduce the size. Place them inside the circle. Select the circle also and group them. Okay. So here, let's reduce the size a little bit. Select the circle as well and group. All right, done. Now we have to give some animations also. So for that, what are we going to do? We are going to select this outer circle. And I'm going to press the control D. Okay. Now in the next step, we are going to insert the rectangle. Okay. So here we are going to select this rectangle shape. So like this, we are going to place the rectangle exactly behind the circle like this. And let's select the rectangle first and then the circle by pressing the control key. Now in the merge shape option, we are going to select the subtract so that we have a similar hole in our rectangle. And we are going to place it exactly over here. So like this, we are going to place these circles, okay? Now in the next step, we are going to select the shape outline to be the new outline and shape is going to be exactly the same color as of our slide, okay? So like this, for all these rectangles, no outline and the same fill color. Okay, so the our basic structure is ready. So now in the next step, we are going to select these smaller circles and in the animation option, we'll select fly in option and the direction for these circles will be right hand side. Okay, the ones that are towards the right hand side, the direction is going to be the right. Okay, for the bottom one, the direction is going to be the bottom. And for the left one, the direction is going to be from left, okay? Try in from left. Try in that option from left. Okay, now let's go to the animation pane. In the animation pane, the first animation will start with previous and for the rest of the animation, they are going to start after previous. Okay, now let's have a preview. 
Bom, 